so we found a baby raccoon. Uh, <laughs> no, it's a porcupine. All right, so Jake, here. I, I, it's, if you can see, this is, this guy's just a few months old, but he already has like the moves to protect himself. Jake kind of gets the ferns out of his way. He's swinging his tail back and forth and jerking it back and forth and would definitely embed us with quills if we weren't like totally careful about this. No. Hold on, I'm gonna move some other ferns out of the way. No, Jake, actually don't mess with his. His instinct is to swing his tail and really do damage with those quills. But you don't like then <laughs> <laughs> just gently touch his, touch his tail to, and, you know, teach him that it's okay that he gets touched like that. That's like not good. See, see how he is swinging his tail? I want to try. Whoa, good strike guy. All right. You know what you're doing. Are we harassing you? We are. Okay. I would love to get a picture of his cute little face, but I guess we'll leave him alone now. We're going to the big porcupine tree down here. That's our whole purpose for being out here today. Let's see if he walks away. Up and down. Can you take the camera, Jake? I was carefully moving to keep his back to the threat. Swinging his tail. Jake, not too much. You're going to freak the poor guy out. Because he's not what he's not used to. He's not used to defending himself, maybe. And he's also not used to being, like, surrounded front and back he's like so this. Adorable. Yeah, but he's totally, like, freaked out. He said, Mommy told me about this. I hope I'm doing the right thing. I hope I don't die. All right. Let's leave him alone and go see the nest. Good job, Jake. 